like Gucci Spanky Scarab. She has delicious Gemini. Hold on, let me just hide this water bottle. Hi, Gemini, my baby. We're at the harbor in Pathos, and uh, this perspective feels wrong, but like, I mean, it looks wrong, but it feels so right because my tripod broke as I was coming down here. So you can't really see the harbor up behind me, but. Hi, boo boo. Uh, this is gonna be your general energy vibe check for love. We're gonna see what new fishies you're swimming at you in the sea of love. Who's out, who's in, and who's getting deleted from the database this season in March 2023 for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please show me angels. What is happening for Gemini right now? What is Gemini going through? Oh, baby, everyone's going through something today. I feel like it's Heartbreak Sunday. I don't know what's up with, um, I think, well, there's a lot of strong astrology coming through, and I think a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of illusions are dropping before Saturn go, uh, goes into Pisces when it comes to love, and that's good. You know, you're you're finalizing things. You're, you're expunging things. You're getting rid of all the old stuff. Um, <clears throat> I feel Gemini, and this is a German reading, so bear that in mind, but I see a lot of you are going through, you're either going through dealing dealing with a betrayal or you're something's coming back you know like you're having memories of that or uh something you know triggered a memory from the past of uh, a time when someone betrayed you with the five of swords can you even see the cards maybe i'm so sorry <clears throat> but the five of swords is betrayal and it's the kind of betrayal that hurts it's the kind of betrayal that you know really gets under your skin it is you know a baby who potentially like really really hurt you like extremely like you know to the point where they triggered uh, past traumas and stuff like that oh baby let's see about this person it's okay, you know, like, it's finalize those feelings. Let those, past, let those past betrayals come through, come out, so you can start again with somebody new. That's like a Freddie Mercury song lyric. I'm upset. Does that, like, do you even know that I'm actually obsessed? Like, you can probably tell. Like, I used to, like, faint, like, when I was a child. You know how when you're, like, a child of trauma and you fantasize about a different family you could be with? Like, I used to fantasize that Freddie Mercury was my dad. And he was like my mother and my father. Oh my God, it's so cringe. I'm so cringe. He's still my daddy though. All right, uh, <laughs> the lovers. <laughs> what is wrong with me? The lovers. You know, it's a funny thing. This person who betrayed you, the energy that's coming back up for you is somebody who still loves you in their own way. It could be like a little bit of a, you know, narcissist or someone who doesn't really have empathy or feelings because I'm seeing somebody here who really hurts you and despite of that, they still love you. You know, maybe it was a betrayal. And look, like I always say, if you have the receipts, somebody cheated, then this reading is for you. But, you know, if it's not about cheating for you, you're not aware of that, don't, like, jump to conclusions because I'm not here to trigger anybody. I'm just a random bimbo on the internet, all right? But um, someone betrayed you, like, it, when it comes to love and the love department. So someone could have cheated on you, but they still love you, you know? Uh, they feel like they made a mistake. They feel like they're always going to love you despite the betrayal that you feel from them. So that person, uh, you know, whether it's just happened or they betrayed you, like, in the way that they loved you, you know? They couldn't, like, come up trumps for you in some way or or they didn't, you know, do the thing you asked them to do. They couldn't prove their love or something like that. Their, their love language, which just wasn't adequate for you. And they, you know, they you felt really betrayed by uh, something here and the person still loves you despite of that. How did they feel about what they did? <sighs> Seven of Cups. It's not the best energy. It's almost like this person is telling themselves they didn't do anything wrong. Maybe had a conversation about that. You know, they did something. But it was very hurtful. It was a betrayal of some kind on a deep soul level, on a deep heart level, but Bill. You're wondering if this was a past life connection. It could very well have been. There's a chemistry and a draw between two people here that is really kind of epic. You know, it's almost like, you know, like it, it's epic. <laughs> it's, it could be very ancient, could feel ancient, could feel um, like, you know, you can't explain why it is so deep, but you know, just because it's there, it doesn't mean that there's not another one that's gonna be just as deep because that's always the case, baby. Let's see what the future holds right now. It's okay, Gemini, good morning. Yeah, that person's gonna materialize. Uh, you got the magician here, but they're back on their bullshit. You know, like it's always gonna be the same bullshit with this person. Lie, it's like a liar or a chronic liar or something like that. You know, someone who's giving themselves illusions and delusions that what they're doing isn't wrong. So whatever that bad behavior is, the toxic behavior, they're coming back to you at some point with the same behavior. Uh, also, Gemini, before we get into your douche flute, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you're new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you, I appreciate you, I love you, I see you baby, give mommy a kiss. Mm, I'm so far away now. 
<laughs> oh, Gemini. Look, I Scorpio Sun and Rising. I love my Geminis. You are my lucky stars. As you know, you're my little... I got the Gemini lifestyle, too. Mm. I'm Loki, a Gem secret Gemini. Um, I, you know, Scorpio protects their people. So, you know, mommy's got an eye on your douche flute. I don't like this energy. It's not to excuse them, but let me just tell you one thing, Gemini, the person who hurt you and betrayed you, in their mind, they didn't do anything wrong. In their mind, it's justified. They're like delusional about it. You know, they're in denial about how much they hurt you. Delete from database, baby. Delete from the database. Database does not want this person inside of it. Oh my God, just like me and my ex-boyfriend. All right, anyways, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <clears throat> no, not kidding. Okay, let's see. What is coming through that's new, boo, -boo. There's love coming at you, baby. Queen of Cups, okay? So it could be a water sign, like your mommy, a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces. There's love coming at you, true love, real love. Somebody who's going to like really love you for who you are, really give you what you require, really honor you, and just like, you know, worship you. It's like, you know, courtly love. So this can be like, your Odysseus or, or Penelope, actually Odysseus is probably not a good idea because he's a cheater, but mm, you know, like, it's like a Penelope vibe, you know, someone who's always going to wait for you, someone who's going to make space for you, someone who's going to like be faithful, be everything, like all things to you. Queen of Cups. Aw, Bip Bill. Tell me more about this new love. It's someone from a distance, Bip Bill. <clears throat> Don't freak out. It could be a long distance relationship coming at you. Or it's somebody who's coming to your area from a distant land. All right, maybe a little, little travelpreneur like your mommy. Maybe they're coming from a different place. You might meet them while you're traveling. So if you have something scheduled like a travel plan or something like that, that's coming through for you. <clears throat> the person who's coming at you is a romantic little bit bill and they've been looking for that one one and only love for a long time they are seeking their soulmate this isn't someone who's just like looking to see what happens you know just like whatever i'm just going through life see what happens no it's somebody who's seeking their one true love and they're ready to invest in that they're ready to make sacrifices for it a lot of wandering energy here too the page of wands so a, a wanderer but like you know like mm, not in a bad way like like in a travel printer kind of way or, or like in an explorer way this movie likes to explore it's an adventure it's someone with a very brave heart also i feel like this new person is someone who has been through a lot of things since childhood so they had to grow up real fast uh, i think they didn't have a lot of love as a child but they still retained a brave brave uh, heart in, in themselves. They have a lot of innocence to them that a lot of people lose when they encounter bad things when they're children. So they chose the light. There's someone who chose the light. Uh, they have a lot of magic in them. Could be a magical boo-boo, new age boo-boo. Doesn't have to be, but they just have it in them. Whether they're connected to it or not is another matter, but they definitely have it. They carry it uh, in them. They're very magical, very inspired, and very scrumptious. Oh, let's see what the angels have to say too. There's uh, any final advice from the angels. Gemini, boo, boo it's going to be okay. Yeah, like, betrayer again, you know. Once betrayed, like, just let that person go because that person's coming through in the magician. It's Libra got a very similar energy today. It's like a manipulator. So if you have Libra in your chart, if you're dealing with a Libra, watch the Libra video. Uh, it's like a manipulator, somebody who doesn't, you know, who still is like, you know, they hurt you, but they still kind of are on it and they're going to be returning regardless but with like the same thing don't just be careful that you're not tempted by their pretty words because it's all manipulations a lot of manipulation a lot of narcissism and selfishness here in that person and just you know uh self-betrayal too that's so important gemini make sure that you don't love somebody at the expense of your own scrumptiousness your beautifulness that you don't betray yourself uh to please another person's heart um because you're so scrumptious and you deserve the best Always remember you shine brightly like the brightest sapphire in the sea and you deserve someone who appreciates you, not a douche flute who can't read or write. So just saying. All right, <laughs> my bit bill. Uh, thank you for uh, spending your time with me today. Let me know in the comments below. This is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you uh, like my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I uh, like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm, give me one more kiss, baby. All right, mommy. <laughs> now I'm gonna get uncomfortably close. <laughs>